Cisco needs a tech fund the same way any um, high technology company needs a tech fund. The truth is, is that you can't just say innovation is important, rah, rah, and uh, ask people to think harder and think better. Some innovative ideas take more than a half an hour to describe or take more than a week or a weekend or a few extra days of an engineer's time to explore. And the tech fund is there to allow senior technical talent, our distinguished engineers and fellows in our population, to explore ideas in some depth. They are given the time to explore those ideas by their management. And the tech fund allows them to purchase equipment, allows them to hire any contractors that may be needed, allows them to backfill temporarily um, the work done by others who help join and work on the tech fund idea. All of that together allows them to explore an idea in depth, an idea that may take 6, 12 months, 18 months to explore fully. What we have is for the senior engineers with these ideas is there's a well-defined process for describing their idea. We have them fill out a very short form which says, here are the goals of the project, here's how long I think I'll need to take, here is what I want to achieve in this experiment, and here's roughly what I'll need to achieve it. So it's almost like writing up an ex a description of an experiment. And we'll look at that, and a team of people cross-functionally will review that. This team consists of Cisco fellows, CTOs, as well as senior engineering functional management. We'll look at the idea in a, in a few ways. One, does the idea match the goals of the tech fund, which is really to look at future ideas that could make it into some sort of product or become a product or approach a market a different way. And is the idea unique? Is it something that's not duplicating something done elsewhere? Simply put, if you don't set up a separate fund, these ideas become more difficult to explore. Uh, the reason for that is, is that funding, no matter how much there is, everybody who has a fund has more ideas than they can fund, and so they have to make choices. What we want to do is say, right up front at the beginning of the planning cycle, we will sequester an amount of money for the exploration of innovative ideas, or potentially innovative ideas. And by doing that up front, you're not forcing the decision to be a general manager who says, again, I can have a feature for my top customer that will make me $50 million, or I can put some money into this tech fund, but I can't do both. At that time, they might lean toward doing the new feature because that's a guaranteed revenue. And of course, our goal is to achieve revenue results in this company like any company. So by reserving that money up front, you don't force those decisions to be made that way in a pocket manner later. You're saying we will reserve some amount of money for the exploration of innovative ideas at a time when you can make that decision. No, actually the way you want to think about the tech fund is the tech fund should be one of the source of ideas as to what the next five should be or the new five that may replace some or all of the existing five. That's the heart of why companies, any high tech company, needs to create something like a tech fund. Because you can't just sit and say what got you the money today or what will get you the money tomorrow will continue to provide revenue and growth for the company a number of years from now. You always have to be on the lookout for what the new ideas are so you can begin the design and implementation of those ideas in time to catch the market. And that's very important to us as a company. That's why the Tech Fund exists, to be a source of those ideas.